The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and welcome to another Transfer Verdict video with me, Ryan Hildred from Rovers Chat. Uh, so as this transfer window reaches its conclusion, after a fairly slow window so far for Rovers, we are starting to make some signings thick and fast. And today's verdict video is all about 23-year-old Teo Aden, who Rovers have signed for a reported 500,000 from League One, Lincoln City. And to help us get the verdict on Aiden, I'm delighted to be joined by Jake Tong from the Stacey West blog. How are you doing today, Jake? Well, I mean, obviously the news has gone through that Terry has signed for, for Blackburn. So not great, but um, I just had a pizza. So, you know, swing them around the <laughs> <laughs> Always a bonus and all that. So, um, yeah, um, we'll get your views in a minute, Jake. Just a bit of a summary for the Rovers fans on Aiden before, um, obviously, we ask you some questions. Uh, he's a product of the Fulham Youth Academy and he spent the first half of the 18-19 season on loan at Ipswich Town. And indeed, he scored an equaliser against Rovers in our 2 all draw at Portman Road in our first game back in the Championship in that season. He denied us an opening day victory. He was recalled by Fulham due to an eye injury halfway through that season and later joined Lincoln City in January 2020, where he's been ever since. He was part of that impressive Lincoln City squad from last season that did reach the League One playoff final. And so far this season, he's made four appearances, scoring one goal, and he's got two assists too. So he started the season, it seems, in some good form as well. Um, so, Jake, firstly, I just want to ask you... Um, about Aiden's position, actually, because mm -hmm. there's already a bit of chatter in the Rovers fan base about us spending a fee on a left back because we've already yeah. signed Harry Pickering from Crew last season. Mm -hmm. However, if I'm led to believe correctly, Lincoln haven't always played him as a left back. So could you just talk about where Aiden's been playing for the Imps and what he's brought to your side in the last you know year and a half that he's been at you? Yeah, so um, officially we signed him from Fulham as a central midfielder. Um, and the first sort of, si well, I was going to say six months of the season, but it was like two months that he, he didn't really gel in. He played in midfield, looked really tidy actually on the ball. Obviously, he's, he's bought, he bought up a lot last season. And, and Appleton is, is sort of a manager, I'm sure as you guys well know, is he, he puts players in a position where they might not think they're strongest. But when it comes to it in terms of the team, what the team needs, you know, they're, they're better playing in that position. And Teo was moved out to left back. Um, we weren't really expecting it. Um, but, you know, ever since he, he moved out onto that left hand side, he's just added a, a calmness about it. You know, you can tell he is a classy footballer. Not many fullbacks can play a ball like Teo Eden. Um, obviously, um, I, think he, I think he's a better left back than he is a midfielder. Um, last season uh, at times with, with uh, Morgan Rogers, Anthony Scully on that left-hand side, they were pretty good. And you, you said at the start of the video that he's hit some pretty good form this season, scored the, the goal away at Gillingham, really good finish. And then the game against Fleetwood, he was absolutely fantastic down that left-hand side, got the assist for Scully's goal, got the assist for the, um, well, he won the penalty as well that was the game. So, um, yeah, really, really good football, a really tidy play. Obviously not what we wanted to lose, but the of championship football, uh, whilst we didn't get it last year, was always going to be something we've seen with George Graham, Morgan Rogers all made the step up. So we was expecting interest, not expecting him to go, but um, yeah, very good, good player. Uh, probably a better left back than midfielder, but still a very, very capable midfielder. And that being able to play in midfield and at left back obviously does represent some versatility. And Tony Mowbray has always been attracted to players that can play in different positions. Um, so what would you say are Aiden's best qualities? And you know, what are his strengths and what will he bring to the Rovers side, whether he's in midfield or at left back? I think his range of passing is amazing. Um, luckily, he's he's been working alongside um Liam Bricker, who's obviously played at the top level and you can tell because his passing's really improved. When we first 
part of him from Fulham, as I say, he was sort of a bit shy to play those forward passes. He would always sort of play it sideways or backwards with the centre halves. And but now he's making those cutting edge passes, like, well, especially from left back to to Scully on the left wing, and it was really working out for him. Um, in terms of another strength that he has, you know, he's he's, he's his stamina is fantastic. Like he's he's only little, but. Uh, he runs up and down that wing all game. He's quite a feisty character. He's always one that you think has a red card in him. Um, you know, looking look, you know, look at his build, you might not expect him to try and get into a few scraps, but the boy defends his teammates. And I, you know, in a league like Championship, I think you probably need that because you know it's so competitive and you need every sort of margin that you can get. And if Teo can just wind up the opposing winger and get him sent off, then. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, really good footballer, really lot, lot of strength. It's not enough time to talk about, unfortunately, but yeah, really classy, classy footballer. It's good that you said that because I recorded um, about a, a Dutch signing that we've made from Brighton, um, Jean Paul Van Hecker, and uh, the Dutch guy spoke about um, exactly some of those qualities being able to just kind of, as you say, wind up opponents, not shy away from the fight. and. I've been worried about Rovers and how young our squad is, actually. We've got lots of players in their early 20s. So hopefully that's a reassurance for Rovers fans that hopefully Aidan is maybe someone out of the Tony Mowbray mould who's not going to shy away from a challenge and shy away from a battle. So, um, yeah, that's reassuring to hear that, Jake. Um, now, Lincoln had a fantastic season last season and so nearly got promoted into the championship. And... The, loads of players grabbed the headlines in that season. You know, Brennan Johnson, Morgan Rogers, who you mentioned, George Grant. But Aidan played 41 times in the league last season, albeit mm-hmm. he only scored the one goal. But how important was he to your side last season? Yeah, I mean, it was it was pivotal, really, when he slotted in at left-back. Um, from what I can remember, he was sort of the start. We had Brigcott in the field sort of dictate, dictating the play. It was really important that our two full-backs pushed on and made options rather than, you know, giving it obviously to Johnson and Rogers. Um, it was important that we had that threat from depth, from, from deep. And we had Aoma, who we've signed from Spurs, who has come back. And we had Ed, Edwin on the left-hand side. And Edwin was really good at, you know, those um, all those runs. And he was really, he was a, oh, God, I've lost my train of thought here. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Can you run the question? I, I've ever said, oh, damn. Sorry. It's the pizza. We'll blame the pizza. Um, so, no, I was just talking about the fact that players last season, uh, like Brennan Johnson, yeah. Morgan Rogers, George Grant, they all grabbed the headlines, but Eden played 41 times. He did only get the one goal, but I just wanted to just understand how important he was for your side last season. Yeah, I mean, Taylor was really important. Obviously, I, I just mentioned that bite that he's got. Um, League One was quite physical last year. He, needed, he had a few scraps with a few... A few players, um, but really important. It was really important. Obviously, that calmness that he has on the ball. Eight was it? We were able to play out from the back the way Appleton likes it, and um, he was so key at getting the ball from the defensive line up, up to the likes of Rogers, Johnson, Scully into midfield with pick up. So, you know, really important. Obviously, in the forward runs as well. He, he likes to attack from deep, and that was really pivotal for us. That's why we beat so many teams because we just outnumbered them going forward and. And Aiden on the left hand side and the Aiden on the right hand side were pivotal in that. And I don't think he gets the credit he deserves uh, amongst the Lincoln City fan base, but, but Teo is, was really important to us, you know, especially I, I seem to think it was the Sunderland game uh, at home. It was fantastic. It was honestly, it was, it was amazing. He had, he had Brigade, he had, he had um, Jack Diamond in his pocket the entire game. Yeah, really, really upset to lose him, actually. You know, you take, we can see that. He's very pivotal in the squad so far this year, and, and to lose him would be would be absolutely massive for us. But I'm sure the money that, that we'll get for him will uh, will be able to replace him sufficiently. Definitely, and you know the reaction that I've seen, and obviously you've mentioned it in this video as well, is obviously the Imps fans do appear to be really disappointed about losing a player of of Eden's quality, particularly someone who started the season so well as well. Do you think a move into the championship? at 23 years old, is the next step in his progression? Is he ready for championship level? Um, well, having, having not seen my club at championship level, I might, I might have a bit of a, a cloudy judgment, but in terms of in terms of left-backs in League One at the moment, I think he's definitely up there. Um, you know, he's, he's, struck, he's been in the championship before, obviously, with Ipswich. He yeah, had a bit of a struggle. Uh, he's dropped down into League One and comfortably been 
a very good performer. So, you know, the age of 23, where, as I say, he's bulked up, he's hit the, he's hit the ground running so far this season. Um, you know, it, it makes it makes sense for him to go to the team in the Championship. You know, I'm disappointed that it's so late in the window. Obviously, we'd rather have done it earlier in the window. We, we lost George Grant right at the start of the window. We've been able to replace him. But Taylor's a player that I, I think we might struggle to replace. And But Nate, he definitely deserves his go to the Championship. If we, if we had gone up, he'd be a player that would, would be starting for us. So, yeah, um, definitely deserves, deserves a nice out because I don't think he, would, he had a and just go at it when he was there last, but um, it's a really good platform for him to go and, and, and play at that level. I do just wonder if there'll be a cheeky loan deal down the line somewhere, maybe a Rovers youngster, a left back that we might send to you. Maybe I think, you know, obviously we sent Scott Wharton on loan to, yeah. to Lincoln City a few seasons ago. And I think Appleton probably is still quite highly regarded within Rovers as well. So maybe a cheeky loan deal down the line just to stop in the blow a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Travis. Travis is the one that I want. I <laughs> you can't have Trav, I'm afraid. So uh, <laughs> we need him. We absolutely need him. Um, and Jake, uh, obviously, young players, well, all players always have areas that they need to improve and work on in their game. So where would you say that Aiden needs to improve? Where are his weaknesses? You know, what what have you seen in that sense? Um, I mean, I... I you, know, you can take the uh, the fact that he likes a bit of scrap in both ways, and obviously it shows that he's committed, that he's passionate, but he's also one of those players that you're thinking he might be a bit of a walking red card because if a decision goes against him, he might, you know, the mist might descend and he might do something completely stupid. We've seen it a couple of times from Teo. Um, so it's funny to say as, as he's a left back, but his one on one defending isn't great, which I'm sure won't. Yeah, it'd be great news for you guys, but there were, there were a lot of times last season where the opposition were just bypassing his defense. He's caught far too high up the pitch. Obviously, we were, we were attacking a lot last year on the counter attack in that transition. He just wasn't switched on enough to get back and cover around. Um, I might be being unfair on him uh, as he's about to leave, but no, he, he needs to improve on his defending because obviously the calibre of the winner in the championship, you know, you've got you David know, Brooks, you've got, you know, Morgan Rogers now, you've Brent Johnson, so he's going to need to brush up if he's going to want to try and start over over Harry Pickering, who is also a very very good defender. Um, he'll have his work cut out, but I'm sure he's got he's got the uh, the mindset um, to be able to get past that. So, but yeah, his his one on one defending is not great. Obviously, Aaron is not fantastic. He's only a little guy, a little lad. You won't expect him to win headers, but um, yeah, there's, obviously he's he's not the, the finished article because if he was, he'd be playing in the Champions League. With, one of the best teams in the world. So, yeah, um, that sort of summarises a few of his, his weaknesses. Just hearing you talk and just reflecting on our signings overall, actually, Jake, I do wonder if Rovers are going to start leaning towards a wing-back formation, actually. Um, you know, if Aiden is not, you know, your kind of solid left-back and certainly Harry Pickering, I wouldn't say is that either. He is obviously more known for his attacking. I do just wonder if Rovers are going to switch to a wing-back. So, with that in mind, could you see Aiden operating as a left wing back if he needed to, or playing in that midfield area within a wing back formation? Yeah, I could, I could see that. Um, obviously, as, as I mentioned, he's not the best defensively, but attacking, he just sort of adds something else that you're, you know, you, your typical wing back would, you know, would, would drive and get on at play. Whereas Taylor looks like more like he sort of tries to move himself into the middle of the pitch while he's there. Um, we've never sort of played with wing backs, but I can, you know. He's a, he's a professional football. I can see him dropping into a midfield if there were wing backs. I think he'd link up really well with a left wing back as that left sort of centre midfield. I think that's probably where, he'd, if you were to go for that formation, I think that would be his best position in, in there because he'd be able to, you know, you'd have the forwards going off ahead, you'd have the midfielders, and you'd have that wing back always on that touchline. So I think mean, it'll fit in somewhere. Obviously, you've got a um, a lot of embarrassment of riches, but you've got a fairly decent squad there. And I can I can see see Taylor making a couple of appearances, even whether that be at left back, left wing back, midfield. It, I think he'll play anywhere on the pitch. Really, he just wants to he just wants to play football. And I think ultimately that's going to be the thing that helps him at Rovers. So um, Elliot Bennett, for example, is a player that's just left Rovers after five years at Rovers, but he was a player who Mowbray could pretty much play anywhere and know that he's going to do a job. We've got another one, John Buckley at the moment, who will play in any position for Rovers. So Aiden appears to be a player like that. You know, if Harry Pickering's injured, 
if we're struggling at left wing back, if we're light in midfield, Aiden is just going to provide a really versatile option for us, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. And, and the thing is, he, he impacts games wherever he's played, you know, especially for Lincoln. Um, he's impacted games in the middle of midfield. I can remember games sort of last year in midfield. He was, you know, mesmerising to watch and I follow, albeit I follow. Um, and then this year, I've been to every every league game that we've played and Taylor's been the one player that, you know, we've had a couple of defeats recently to, to Wickham and, and Bolton, but Taylor's been the one player that can lead sort of the pitch with his head held high and he's, you know, he's really tried and, yeah, obviously we're so good to lose him. It's deadline day coming literally in a couple of hours. Um, we're not we're not exactly thrilled to have lost him, but yeah, he's um, he's one level of player. I'm sure if you if you can get him in the right formation, the right system, you could be thinking about someone that you are looking to sell on to the Premier League. You know, at 23, 24, he's he'll be an asset for for Blackman, and um, I just really wish him all the best because he's. Um, it's definitely been one of my favourite players in the last 18 months of Lincoln. Brilliant. And just a, a very quick question. Is he a fast player? Can he dribble the ball? You know, what's he like in, in that regard? Oh, I wouldn't say, well, we have to say our other left-back option is Cohen Bramble, who is probably one of the quickest players in the Football League. So, <laughs> so, next, to, so next to him, he's, he's not rapid, but he's, he gets a move on, he gets a wiggle on. Um, his his dribbling is Fairly good, uh, but as I said earlier in the video, sort of his passing is his, his main skill. Um, he can find those passes in between the opposition fullback, the opposition centre half, where you know you'll have Brandon Diaz. Sorry, I just wanted to say the name and, and players <laughs> of that ilk um, to run on to. I'm sure they'll be thankful for it. But um, yeah, I mean, his it, passing, but you know, he's, he's no slouch. He's he'll, he'll keep up with with the wingers and. Um, yeah, just really glad that he's going to get the opportunity to play championship level because I was really sort of hoping he was going to do it with us as I was with half the squad from last year. But um, it's only right that I think he gets his, his opportunity. Brilliant. Well, Jake, I just want to thank you for giving the uh, the verdict and the insight on Aidan tonight. Um, I've got a really good feel for for the player from from speaking to you. So thanks ever so much for that. And Rovers fans watching this video, you know, a few things strike me just hearing Jake talk. That versatility uh, is one thing that's really coming out. That is absolutely a Tony Mowbray player right there. So as Jake says, you know, just a little word of warning. Hopefully we can get him in the right position and he's not just going to be moved about where Mowbray feels uh, he just needs him for a particular game. I think Elliot Bennett did suffer towards the end of his career with Rovers with that. Um, but certainly he's a player that isn't going to shy away from the battle. You know, we spoke about Van Hecker earlier on. You know, he's going to be another one that wants to get stuck in in those championship away games at Stoke or wherever they are. Uh, and the passing, you know, we saw a lot of possession for Rovers last season. We've not seen it so far this season. We've more dug in. We've had less possession. So is this another player that's just going to take Rovers back to that possession style that we obviously did last season. So Aiden certainly someone who can find a pass and, and pick a pass. So looking really, uh, really looking forward to seeing Aiden uh, play for Rovers and really kind words from Jake as well about Aiden and, and obviously wishing him well. So um, that tells you the caliber of player that Rovers is getting there. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, of course, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and when we are sending a player on loan to you, Jake, uh, if there's a replacement left back or whatever, then uh, we can give you the lowdown on them if you need it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a good chat. No, thanks, Jake. Thank you for giving up your time. And Rovers fans, we'll end the video there. Uh, it's another sign in. Aiden will join us. Uh, reported five hundred thousand feet. Let's see how he does. Until then, we will see you soon. See you later. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.